In this class we will learn how to use the command chamfer, very important in removing living corners and finishing templates. Open the available file and let's get started. We activate the command chamfer and in the property manager we have a box for selecting entities, which can be faces, edges or vertices. See that there are three selection options and with the angle distance option active, we select the face shown. We enter the value 2 mm, keep 45 degrees and have the preview displayed. We have confirmed the command and see that the chamfer has been applied along the entire selected face. We activate the command again and select the distance distance option. We select the edges shown and note that the preview is not displayed. We change the value of the distance and note that we have the preview. Also note that adjacent edges have been selected automatically because the tangent propagation option is enabled. Clicking on equal distance, we report a single distance to the bevel. We've confirmed the command and look at the chamfer applied to the edges. Now we will study the vertex option, for which we must select a vertex for applying the chamfer. We select the vertex shown and look at the preview. We can set values for the three edges that will be formed, or click equal distance and set the same value for the three edges to be chamfered. We will still apply a chamfer to the edge shown. We set the distance to 30 mm and see that the preview is not displayed, as this chamfer intercepts other features. To keep the features intercepted by the chamfer, we check the Keep Features option. Note that now the preview is shown. We confirm the command and have the bevel created, keeping the other geometries of the part. We indicate to carry out the chamfers and other details always at the end of the modeling, and when possible, do directly in the sketches, which makes the model lighter. We finish this class, where we learn to remove living corners by applying chamfers. Removal of living corners is essential in any design, for example, to facilitate mold extraction processes and to prevent accidents with metal parts.